CEO Ronald Hickman from Creating the Difference. Today we're going to be doing another CTD deep dive bowling ball review. Stick around to the end to find out if this bowling ball might just be the one you're looking for. Today we're gonna to talk about the new Motive Raptor Rush. This ball features the Propulsion FYJ Pearl cover stock, has a measured hardness of 74. The core is the Affliction V2. It's a symmetric bowling ball. The RG is 2.48. The differential is 0.055. The maximum differential you're allowed to have is 60. So this ball is a very high differential bowling ball. It has a mass bias of zero. The factory finish on this bowling ball is 5,000 LSS. When we checked it with the CTD surface scanner, it also measured at 5,000 grit. And to be honest, Motor probably does the best in the industry of getting their actual finish on the bowling ball to match what actually is on the bowling ball. The oil absorption of this bowling ball is medium. The layout is 55 by four and a half by 30 degrees. We're bowling on our standard house shot. It's 40 feet in length. And we're gonna look at the performance of this bowling ball right now. Hello, six count. First shot, gotta throw it a few shots, of course. You know, you gotta see how she's gonna roll. Get a little oil on it. And that's a real thing too. Like bowling balls need a little bit of oil on them to kind of break them in. That's okay, we're gonna see. That was shot number one. A lot of flare. You can't see it on this ball, but there's a lot of flare on this ball. We're just gonna have to start moving right. I mean, that's good to know. This ball's shiny and got a fair amount of hook to it. It's a lot of flare, man. A lot of flare. Differential or flare potential, that 055, what that really does is it helps to make the bowling ball want to begin to pick up a little bit earlier. That's what it does. That's its purpose. So it kind of makes some sense with a shinier bowling ball to have a little more differential if you don't want the bowling ball or you're worried about the bowling ball pushing a little too far. So it, it kind of makes some sense. In this case, I mean, this ball hooks a fair amount. So uh, we're going to begin to move right and kind of see what happens. So that was three right uh, from the last shot. The ball exhibited that kind of like really clean, more angular type shape. Looked good, looked really good. That ball was probably another one board left, no problem recovering at all. So definitely tells me that this bowling ball is in that angular type category. I've got a little bit of room to the left. If I miss, it'll still kind of recover. It'll read friction hard. So both of those things are really good and indicative of angular products. That one was in probably about a board, board and a half, maybe two there, but it definitely still clean, angular. Split that eight, nine. It exhibits the right kind of shape, right? It exhibits that, that shape that, in my case, when I miss left of target, I can feel confident. I've got a fighting chance for that ball to come back, especially on a house shot. Square up to it a little bit. We'll move back left. Uh, instead of kind of getting around it, we'll go more up the back of it and see how that handles the house shot. So that's really a good way to check how quickly or how early it'll read the friction. It's not scary to read the friction at all. So in order to get that to strike, we'll just have to, we'll stay right there. We'll just kind of back our hand out of it a little bit more. It's definitely got the right shape. We'll talk a little bit about what that means for different styles of play here in a minute. I wanna throw a couple more shots. So I, I really wanted to throw some straighter uh, hand backed out of it. See how the ball was gonna, like I said, respond to the friction. It definitely reads the friction hard, right? It reads it quickly. It, it responds well to it. So you say, okay, well, what does that mean? Well, that means it's going to be good for players that typically maybe throw it a little bit slower, right? Maybe have trouble getting their bowling ball to come around the corner, right? But what's cool about that shape is if you're a high rev player and you throw it hard, it still becomes usable because it creates room for error when you miss, in my case, left of target for the right-hander, right of target. When you miss a bowling ball cover stock core combination that will read that friction, that will read and respond quickly to that friction, the more when you miss, it will still recover. And as I started initially, I saw that when I moved further left and squared up, I wanted to see if it still would exhibit that same kind of behavior because some balls don't, this ball still does. So that's a very, very good sign. I think what you're gonna see is a lot of versatility out of this bowling ball, a lot of different styles of play. I'm gonna move back in. I wanna throw a few more shots. I kinda wanna get around it a little bit more and just really play around and see how responsive this piece becomes to the friction.
We'll make a little move off of that. I'll probably make a two and one off of that shot. Ball's definitely still reading the friction just like it's supposed to. It reads it aggressively, it reads it quick, and it's responsive. Got a little, little skirt skirt on the back end. Missed by one board and same launch angle, same result. So it gives you a little bit of room for error. And that is a trait of angular bowling balls. You can get some room for error. I actually missed in a little bit, just one board. I mean, it was enough to hold pocket. So it's good to know that it creates some entry angle as well as a little bit of room for error. That's one of those pieces that you're gonna wanna use, especially on a house shot that's easier when you know you need a big game. Like that's kind of the right piece to grab. There I missed one board to the left, got it further out, wanted to see if it recovered, it recovered. So I've got room for error now, and that's what you gotta have to be able to get those really, really big scores. That 250, 270, those are the kind of things you gotta have some room for error, as well as be throwing it pretty good to be able to get those high scores. So this is one of those pieces that when it's in play, it's gonna be in play for a while. And you'll know when it's time to begin to put it up, because that room for error will begin to dissipate and go away. Now, one other thing I wanted to point out, this ball was 5000 LSS, which stands for laser scan surface. But if you look at the ball, it looks shiny. That's kind of unique and kind of cool because what Motive is doing is they have a bowling ball that appears to be shiny, but doesn't have any polish on it. And I believe that that is part of the reason why this bowling ball is so responsive to friction. Thanks for watching this CTD deep dive ball review. If you don't mind, hit that like button, leave us a comment. Don't forget to go to ctdbowling.com and remember every bowling ball purchase comes with the choice of a free true cut sandy pad. If you'd like more information, consider joining our free regional staff program to get access to an exclusive group that's got professional bowlers in it like EJ Tackett, all the way down to beginners learning and sharing information on how to become a better bowler. You can also follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook. Our mission is very simple. It's to help bowlers become better through education. That's why we always say education is creating the difference.